Pratt & Whitney's global supply chain is seeking to establish a more consistent and efficient first article inspection process with their suppliers. Consequently, Pratt & Whitney has selected Discus as the preferred software product and recommended its use within their supply chain. Discus provides an easy-to-use interface, which allows you to collect and manage your technical data, balloon your drawing, and enter measurement and inspection results that can be exported into the Pratt & Whitney Risk form. Exclusive discounts for Pratt & Whitney suppliers and additional information can be found at discusforpwa.com. Discus allows us to work with a Technical Data Package, or TDP. You can think of a TDP as the collection of requirement documents necessary to describe a component part or assembly. The drawing panel is where we can open the primary requirement document and drop balloons. The specification panel is a complementary window in which we can open supporting requirement documents. The Bill of Characteristics, or BOC, is a list of the characteristic requirements that we've identified. Ultimately, this information will be exported into our inspection sheet. Let me start by adding a drawing to the TDP. Discus can load PDF and TIFF file formats. For now, I'm going to slide the vertical divider to the side and focus just on the drawing. Now, I'm going to enter the TDP property information, which is identifying information such as the part number and name. Also, I can apply the Pratt & Whitney profile, which customizes the settings and makes the risk form the default export template. From there, I can set up my default tolerances, apply a zone grid overlay, and even customize the shape and size of my balloons. Adding balloons is fast and easy. As I do this, a new row is created in the characteristic table and an image requirement is captured, which is like a screenshot taken right off the drawing. If I flip on the zone overlay feature, Discus automatically identifies the location of each balloon. Characteristic information, such as the dimension and tolerance, can be entered directly into the Bill of Characteristics table. Another way we can enter the details of the requirement is from the Characteristic Properties window. And we can use the OCR, or Optical Character Recognition add-on, to help us do so. To identify additional sub-requirements, such as those from specifications or other requirement documents, we can do so by opening and working with the document in the Specification panel. If you're looking to enter measurement results, you can do so with the Discus Results add-on feature. When we deem our work complete, we can export the information out to an inspection sheet. This can be the Pratt & Whitney risk form or another Excel template of our choosing. Hit Ctrl-M to run the macro and format the data for the special Pratt risk form. Of course, to accompany our inspection report, we can create a PDF of the balloon drawing that we can print out or email. To learn more about Discus and the great offer for Pratt & Whitney suppliers, visit discusforpwa.com.